Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is day 31, the final day of the RPG A Day 2019 challenge. And the last word we have is, well, last. Now, I get the feeling the intent is longevity, and this is the problem that I've been having with this whole thing, is going with these conversation starter words that are just a little bit too vague for my liking. But... If it's about the longevity of the tabletop RPG genre, or just tabletop gaming as a whole, I think it's going to be in good hands. But I do think that there are going to be some radical changes within the next decade. Not changes due to a paradigm shift of a new edition, although that's certainly going to happen eventually. There, one way or another, there will be a D&D 6th edition. It's just the form that it's going to take is something that I have no clue of. However, what I think is going to change is the streamer bubble. And I call it a bubble because in its own way, we are right in the middle of a period that was not too dissimilar from 2000 to 2005. And I know I've talked about this before, but it bears noting in this context. The open gaming license bubble, when everybody and their brother, their brother's baby mama, their baby mama's uncle cousin, second cousin ne next remove, grandfather, and great-great-great-grandfather were all making some D20-based book. And a lot of them, as Surgeon's Law would say, are crap. We're starting to... S I'm not saying that a large amount of streamers are crap. What I am saying, though, is that, the s is that this trend of streamers is going to start to die down eventually. It won't happen immediately. But what's probably going to happen is the momentum for, say, Critical Role is going to start slowing down. And a lot of the people who are more interested in the characters that were portrayed by that group are going to focus their attention elsewhere. Instead of focusing their attention on D&D 5th or Pathfinder or whichever version of the game they decide to use. To that end you're going to see less and less of that sort of celebrity streaming kind of thing. It's still going to be a thing. It's just not going to be as big as it once was. That's just the nature of things. And that's the reason why I um, have been very careful about how I approach streaming when it comes to my collaboration with RVT. Because fashion is fleeting. Style is forever. This has been an interesting experiment, doing this whole daily thing in a video form instead of in the written form that I've done it in years past. Because this is my fourth year doing this. That being said, Autocratic, if you happen to be watching this, go back to questions next time. This whole one word thing was... Some of the words were decent enough, others of them... I had to really, really stretch the word in order to get the amount of momentum that I wanted out of it. Just something to keep in mind for next time. And also, I know that you had it that is a daily prompt to talk about something cool, positive, and awesome. I decided to use it as a daily prompt to just talk about my perspective on things. Because I feel like trying to outright go for positive, to me, always rings hollow. I would, much I would much rather someone just be themselves than try to be quote-unquote positive. But that's just my take on things. And we'll probably be doing this again next year. Stay frosty!